Hello everyone, take this red piece of cloth, make a rectangle or fold it into half as such. Fold it vertically and horizontally over. Now, afterwards, make the cuttings as shown and then open it out. Now, fold it into half on the other side. Make the slight swirl cut in the side as well. Take another rectangular piece of cloth and then make these two curved cuts to it. Afterwards, open it out. Add this as the frills to your dress and now add sleeves to it as well as a collar and stitch it up. Next, take a rectangular piece of cloth, diagonally cut it through and bring one end downwards. Make this U-shape cut in the middle of it, fold it almost into half and make a slight cut on the side as well. Now, open this up ever so slightly and then make a longer cut on one of the sides as such. Take the top sections of it and bring both of them down. Add an outline to it as well. Take a piece of cloth, fold it into half and then make this downward facing V-shape to it. In the side, make a small cut to it as well. Now make a U-shape cut, make another small cut to it. Fold over either end of it to make it meet in the middle and then add pockets to it, as well as buttons. Take a piece of cloth, fold it up almost in half and then one more time, fold it up. Now make this curved U cut to it and then at the bottom make this swirl cut to it. Now fold over either half of it to make it meet in the middle and then make collars to it, add buttons and a little pocket as well. Take a rectangular piece of cloth and then fold over either end of it to make it meet in the middle and then fold it in half. Now using the patterns that have been created, fold it up. Fold this into half as well and as for the top portion of it, make another cut to it. Now once again fold over either end to make it meet in the middle, add a collar to it and then add some buttons to it. Next, take a piece of cloth and afterwards fold it up into half. Now make the small diagonal cut to it. Afterwards take the top portion of it, cut it through. Make a small cut as well on the side and then open it out. Once you open it out it should be like this deep U shape. Make a cut at the bottom as well, fold over either end of it and then it will be like an overcoat. Next, take a piece of cloth, fold it diagonally and then afterwards, fold the top edge downwards. Make a U-shape cut on one of the ends and then cut up the corner as well. Make this diagonal cut to it, open it out and then after you do so, once again, make a slight cut to it. Take the top portion of it and bring both the ends of it downwards. Next, take a piece of cloth, diagonally fold it over and then make a curve cut to it. Afterwards, make one cut on the side as well. Make a small cut in the middle on the other side. Open it up and this is what you should be left with. Fold over two of the sides as such, do this on either side, add ribbons to it. Add this as the outline on all of the sides as such. Bring it back down and now you have yourself the top. Next, take this piece of cloth, fold it over diagonally twice and then afterwards cut off two of the edges. Open it out and then afterwards add this lining to it. Add the lining to the top as well. Next, take a rectangular piece of cloth, taste out the shape of your palms. After you've done so, cut it out according to the shape. Now, after you've cut it out, then stitch it according to this as well. Reverse the side of it once you're done with it. Now, make another one of this and then you have yourself a glove. Next, we'll start off by taking a piece of cloth, fold it in half, bring it downwards. Afterwards, make this curve cut to it and then make a cut in the corner as well. After you do so, make a small cut at the bottom. Make this U-shaped cut at the bottom as well, that is on one of the sides. And then afterwards, roll up one of the sides as well. Add this collar. Thank you for watching.